I cannot even believe I'm saying these words, but today is the Left Coast Flea. After months and months of planning and hard work, we are so excited today to join with Rose City Vintage Market and put on this event and bring back the indoor and outdoor show to Portland, Oregon. We just arrived to the Portland Expo Center. This is where we're hosting the flea market. So this whole fenced off area here is gonna be the left coast flea. And we just got all of the spaces marked off and everybody's names down. So when everybody arrives tomorrow, they're gonna know right where to unload. We are so excited excited to turn this parking lot into an awesome vintage market. This is the inside where the Rose City Vintage Market is going to be. So I'm going to take you through the doors and I'll show you how amazing this is going to be. There are going to be, I think, 300 vendors inside. So it's going to be a really good turnout. Well, I actually think we have enough furniture, which is crazy because I thought I was scrambling to get a few last minute pieces, but I think we might even have to put some of it back in the U-Haul. This is really coming together. I can't wait to show you what it looks like in about two hours from now. It's unload day and setup day at the expo. Everyone is out. It's a beautiful day. I'm just gonna go grab the van so we can start unloading. Here, more stuff. Ready for the day. Oh yeah. We're starting to get everything unloaded, but there's a lot more to go, so. Here we go. If you've never done a flea market, you might not realize how much work goes in behind the scenes with all of these vendors. Not only are they spending months sourcing these items, cleaning them and pricing them, but setup day is no joke. You've got one day to basically merchandise and set up a storefront. I partnered with Courtney of Once Again Vintage and Poppy and Dale Vintage, the first Rose City Vintage Market that I sold at, and we planned out that space for weeks leading up to the event. I have so much respect for every single vendor who showed up and brought their best vintage and put in the work just hoping that the shoppers would turn out. Look who I found in the parking lot! How much stuff did you bring? Oh, uh, I actually rented uh, five tables today because I didn't bring any tables five I tables the car so what is that like an extra eight boxes I don't know I probably have 30 boxes full of stuff. 30 boxes full of stuff five extra tables this yes. is gonna be amazing oh, yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. well once you have it all set up we're gonna come check it out oh, cool. okay, okay. The space is ready. I didn't end up having enough room. I brought so much stuff I ran out of room so I couldn't do my giant table of lamps. But I've got some lamps here and then I've got some other lamps sprinkled in throughout this space. But it's really come together. I had so much fun finding all of this stuff and seeing it kind of come to life. I had some amazing help yesterday getting this all put together. Michelle even hand painted this sign for me. Can you believe it? She's so talented and incredible. So I've got everything ready to go, except for the jewelry. I always put that out right at the last minute. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm excited to see the shoppers and they're already getting ready to line up. So it's gonna be a great, great day. We're still like 45 minutes away from opening and we've got lots of people lining up already. I think that they're gonna be able to go outside too, so this is exciting.
<laughs> That's so cool. We gotta get back inside. It's happening. Can't believe it. <laughs> Get that in here. No, out here. Out. No, yeah. you didn't. Isn't that cool? I'm Anyone really, really happy for you, but I'm also jealous. <laughs> also jealous. And I do Hi. not get jealous. <laughs> What's I'm, her name? Georgie. Georgie, boy, G, come here. Oh, what a sweet baby. Yeah. The Rose City Vintage Market indoor area combined with the outdoors had over 350 amazing vintage and antique vendors. We always say that this show has something for everyone. And the reason that we say that is because it's true. We had good friends who came out to the market who found vintage Disney posters and Disney toys. My niece's boyfriend's really into comics and he found some very rare collectible comics. There were fashionistas walking around finding one-of-a-kind vintage clothing. This market has everything from farmhouse to mid-century modern to the absolutely weird and amazing. It was a beautiful mix of sellers who've been in this industry for 30 plus years, mixed alongside people who this was their very first market. And what I noticed was everybody brought their A-game. This is a market that we've all been talking about and excited for for months and months. So many of the vendors had been squirreling away their best Best pieces to bring to the show. One of my favorite things to do at a vintage market is to walk the aisles and listen to the stories being told. I love overhearing conversations of nostalgia where people have come across something they hadn't seen in 30 years since their grandma's house. And it never ceases to amaze me how old things can become new again. Trends come and go, but quality made and unique items will always have a place in our homes. My only regret was that I was working the market and I didn't have enough time to shop. So who, who sold these? Do you know the name, the, the people over this there? This is, you know, I have to like go check out their stuff. Okay, Leonard and Bonnie. Amazing, the coolest. Yeah, those are really wonderful. Aren't they awesome? From 1880. Yeah, and these were so $19 oh, yes. a piece. They're so cute. I love the skunks, I love the skunks. Oh, boxes. So you're gonna do it in your dining room? Ah, a sloth. Like, or wait, is it? Yeah, <laughs> that's gotta be a sloth. It's not as cute as my is sloth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. See the yeah. The bottom, and then look at them. Oh, the babies. Oh my goodness. Good find. How much were they? Oh, for nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars each. I made okay, from eighteen eighty. Oh. just said why are you selling those wine glasses apparently he loves these and that doesn't happen often so I'm gonna go ahead and put those away these are coming home <laughs> Uh, like a hidden thing? Are you serious yeah, right I now? Mean, like, I, really? I saw that yesterday. Like, <laughs> so you, you what she had planned. Well, where is she? Because I gotta talk to. I. There's no price. This is free. Oh. The smiley face. Uh, the not price so stuff is not free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Oh, she left it in um, she's over there room. in the White House. Did you see it? <laughs> No way! I go, when I put it out, I go, I was thinking of what I was going to sell it for, and I went, no. First person finds a pen when I spark it, gets it for free. Wow! So it's free on Do I really get it? I absolutely get it. I am so excited! <laughs> Literally, she said there was this whole art movement, and she's going to send me info about it. There was this whole art movement, and 
I just thought it was it looks Holy cow, what a day. I need to go home and pack more stuff because everything's looking a little bit bare. I cannot even believe how crazy today was. It was crazy awesome. But I gotta go get more vintage. So I'm running low. A good problem to have, but we sold so much yesterday that the tables are looking really bare. And so we're back here today. And so we loaded up some more stuff last night and we're gonna get these tables stocked back up and go for round two today. feeling this morning? Feeling great. I got some good sleep last night. I'm ready to go. Woo! Like you could actually use it as a real handbag. What? Look at this. There's a pair. Okay, that just made it way cooler too. They look so good together. $28 for the pair. Yeah. They're gorgeous. And I also like these little ships. Looks this sort of like Viking. Love that. Those are cool. I'm going to get these for sure. I love this display with the little clips. Thank you. So good. What'd you get? Everybody remember Kelly from the Fargo Junk Market? <laughs> She's shopping my junk market now. <laughs> She's supporting that I'm going to get this. We're going to get this too for only $10. I think that'll look so pretty on a stack of books. Is missing his ears. Yeah, you've got to put a little plant yeah. planter in it, but the problem is it's really hard sometimes if you don't have the original. Yeah. yeah, they were usually made out of fiberglass, so they were kind of molded right to it. That's kind of a cool still life. I like that one. And they're like a Tibetan thing? It's a Tibetan prayer piece. It's okay if I forget it. Yeah, I have a turquoise and coral one, but it's much smaller. That's incredible. You look fantastic today. I hadn't seen your outfit. Are you ready? You look ready. <laughs> nail color look <laughs> we're looking at this one i think i'm gonna get one and i want something that i've never seen before and i love the green stones that's my favorite turquoise and i think it would look really good paired with this one let's put it on and see how it looks together it almost pulls out the green and the gold tones when i wear it stacked more is more right i can pull that off <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna think about it. There's a couple of them that I like. I really like this big old chunky one. And I really like this one that has almost like an Art Nouveau style. And then I, I really love this one, but this one's way out of my price range. And then is that what it's down between? I think so. Oh, this one, I hadn't even seen that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, decisions. Amazing. Oh 
The gal to the left of Laura here, she came all the way from Denver. I mean, people are really starting to get excited. We used to have dealers who came this far to do this show, and it's starting to happen again, and I think that's just really neat. Hey, Hi, here we everybody. are. Hi, everybody. We are having so much fun, and I am so glad that Laura did this outdoor stuff. It has made such an extra dimension to the show. A ton of people have come out here because they go right by my booth to get to that door. No, which, thank you for that, were too. Me, they were like, don't be offended, but I stopped by George first. <laughs> oh, that's so funny because I had a whole bunch of people who said, well, I came to you right after I saw Laura. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are so happy. We had a wonderful time. And thank you to everybody who came out to see us. Oh, yeah. It's such an amazing group of people. Tons of people. I was so I shocked it. how many people it. came. It's just Wait till you great. see the line coming in through the door. It was insane. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad you got a picture of it. Yeah, I never could share that my you. booth. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Wow. This has been such a great show. So much fun. I had one of the busiest days yesterday I've ever had at a show in my career. It was definitely in the top three. So, gosh. Portland has been a lot of fun as usual. That is a wrap. We did it. The Left Coast Flea was amazing. Oh, what an absolutely amazing weekend. The shoppers came out and the vendors brought the best stuff. I can't believe it's over after all of this planning. It's so exciting. So we're getting all packed up and everybody's ready to go home. We were wheeling and dealing to the last minute here. A huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Make your brand stand out with a beautiful website. You can engage with your audience and sell anything, your products, your content you create, and even your time. I can't believe it's been 10 years since we launched our first Squarespace website. Launching my own independent website was one of the best business decisions that I've ever made. I was no longer limited by the other platforms I was selling on. I was able to create my own brand with my own style and put my own personal touch to it. Whether you are looking to connect with your viewers or shoppers through mailing lists or launching your own blog, Squarespace is a one-stop shop. You can create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. You can use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. On top of that, you can also connect all of your social media accounts, which means you can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you are ready to launch your own website, head to squarespace.com slash left coast to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I have to give a huge thank you to every one of you out there who has been cheering me on behind the scenes for this event. Words cannot express how happy I am that I got to meet so many of you in person. Some of you flew all the way across the country from Florida and New York and the Midwest to come out for this event to support it and it means the absolute world to me. I've always been such a big believer that this relationship that I've built with you as the viewer is a two-sided thing. You are a part of these adventures. You are a part of this journey that I'm on here on YouTube but more importantly you're the only reason that these videos happen this has never just been about me showing off all the cool things that I find it's about the community it's about you and it's about secondhand and sustainability and words cannot express how grateful and excited I am about this because I feel like this is just the beginning so thank you to everyone who supported me from behind the scenes everybody who's watched these videos of me finding things for the flea market and a special thank you to to everybody who took the time and spent the money on flights or driving up from California to say hi and to support all of the amazing vintage vendors who really showed up for this market. I mean, they really brought it to the show. I wanted to go shop so bad, but I was so busy, which is amazing, that I really didn't have much time to shop the market. But on my bathroom breaks, I did get to do a tiny bit of shopping. So I will show you my haul from the Rose City Vintage Market and Left Coast Flea. So these pieces are not gonna necessarily stay here, but I wanted to pull them all out together just to show you how fantastic this collection is looking. These come out on special occasions. I don't always have them out here, but I'm so excited I finally got the chest. I've been looking for the chest for so long. I got it for $75, which is an incredible deal. Typically these sell for $250 and more. You've probably seen me find this one and this one in Goodwill and do my happy dance because that's in my intro. And then 
I found this one at Poppy and Dill Vintage last year. So the collection's growing. I think there's only one or two more pieces I need and I'll have the complete set. This bookshelf is really coming together. I've got so many very special pieces that I found around the world and throughout the years on this bookshelf. And I'm very excited to add a find from the Left Coast Flea. This was found in an outdoor space. It was only $10. And obviously I have a thing for pottery. So I really needed some different textures and materials for this shelf. I still have some work to do. I need to frame my beautiful, beautiful Silvio Lofredo cat art. I feel like I shouldn't be giving you this spoiler. This was one of my favorite pieces I found in Italy. We'll come back to that in an episode here very soon. I need to find a few more pieces to kind of balance out the heaviness of all the pottery but this little guy is perfect I have an obsession with the sky and planets and kind of reminded me of Saturn with the ring around it I have to show you this because I ended up shopping my own space at the market which is just hilarious these beautiful glasses I actually recently found at Goodwill and even though I loved them I just didn't think Jesse was gonna love them and typically we make a lot of these decisions together as far as what are forever pieces and stay in our home since I'm the one always shopping, it looks like I'm the one always calling the shots. But my husband, Jesse, actually has a really good eye for design. And he is not wrong that these are gorgeous. And the fact that there's eight of them was great because I can actually pull those out and use them. I think I might even possibly let go of some of my black ones now. This is one of my favorite finds from the Left Coast Flea. I am so excited about this skirt. I've never seen a skirt that was so me all in one. I mean, you've got the colorful needlework. You've got the beautiful Southwestern design. I really, really love this skirt. I purchased this from Nicole who drove all the way from Colorado to be a vendor and sell in our market. So we were obviously so grateful she made the trip out and she had some incredible things. Nicole was another traveler from our Italy group trips and she said when she packed this skirt to bring to the flea market, she knew I was going to love it. I scored some incredible pieces of jewelry at the market. You saw me get these beautiful little birds. This one even has a little bit of rose gold over its wing. These are so pretty. I was so sad when we went to Costa Rica that we didn't end up seeing any of these birds. They are the national bird of Guatemala and they are found in certain parts of Costa Rica but unfortunately we didn't end up seeing them. As you can see I love birds. Got this gorgeous thunderbird pin and then I really loved this one too. It kind of looks like a beetle almost like an Egyptian beetle to me with the straight out wings. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a bird, maybe a thunder bird, but it does look pretty old and it's got a beautiful turquoise stone in it. And I also love this style of chain. And then this very delicate old sterling cross with a little snake eye turquoise stone at the center. And then of course I had to get this because I'm a Taurus and even if I don't end up wearing it and I end up selling it, I just thought this was really cool. I've never come across the Taurus one. This is a designer costume necklace by Raza. And these sell for a pretty penny. I ended up paying only $20 for this. And of course we cannot over look this stunning cuff. It is very heavy, very thick sterling. Artist signed CL Sterling and it's got the beautiful green turquoise stones that I love. And look at all of this hand stamped detailing on it. I also love that it has the scalloped edges. It's an incredible piece. He gave me a very good deal on it. This is something that I'm hoping to have in my collection for a long time. I probably will list it in my online shop sale. I do this sometimes with pieces that even if I love them. If someone's willing to pay the full retail value of what these items are worth, I always look at it as I trade beautiful things for experiences in life. And I've got some really exciting travels coming up. So I am going to go ahead and list this in case the right buyer is out there. And if it sells, I will be sad, but I will use that money to do something really special and create new memories. And until then, I'm going to wear it. This is one of my favorite things that I found at the market because I have never seen one of these blue fire opal necklaces this large look at the size of this pendant it is massive it's signed just sterling so I'm not sure who the artist is I do need to do some research on this because it does feel like a very well made piece and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to figure out what artisan made this even the chain is a very thick sterling this one for sure is going to be coming to my next first Friday sale and then I love critters so I had to get this cute little armadillo and then this I already found so you probably saw me find this on my road trip to Las Vegas. I picked this one up in Reno, Nevada.
Nevada and I promised if it didn't sell at the flea market I would be bringing it to my first Friday sale. So this stunning Native American squash blossom necklace is going to be coming to my August 4th first Friday sale. So if you are new I list all of my new vintage finds the first Friday of every month on my website leftcoastrevivals.com and my sales launch at 3 p.m pacific time every single month and all of these babies will be listed in this sale this month. Here are a few more things I picked up at the flea market. I got two of these little vintage rolling teak cases. I have a whole collection of these. I think I have six or seven of them now and I'm actually going to be doing a kind of gallery wall storage area if you will in one of my bathrooms that we are going to be working on remodeling possibly this upcoming fall and that'll be kind of neat to see how that turns out. You can never have too much storage in a bathroom. I got a couple vintage scarves, some glass candle holders that I thought were really simple and pretty. And then these little Scandinavian candle holders. These are going to go to my Christmas collection. I have quite a few. And then I got this for styling and then this beautiful flower needle point. So some of these items are going to be coming to the first Friday sale and a couple of them I'm going to be keeping and holding on to for myself. I was able to sneak away from my space for a few minutes to go talk to one of my very favorite interior designers, Emily Henderson. She lives in Portland and she has been a huge supporter of the vintage community for a long time. She uses a lot of amazing vintage in her interior design and her personal home, and it was really wonderful to catch up with her. She even did a blog post feature on the flea market. I will put that link in the description below if you want to give that a read. She even ended up buying something from Brian and Heather of Restated PDX. They are our good friends. They actually joined us on the Italy trip, and we really got to know them over there. So I was very happy that she ended up buying a really cool mid-century brand lamp from them and gave them a shout out in the blog. It's a really cool blog post. If you want to read it again, I will link it in the description below. We were so excited and honored to have Max Humphrey, a Portland, Oregon interior designer and author at the show to do a book signing for his new book Lodge. As someone who loves to visit the national parks and appreciates all of the beautiful historical design on the interiors, I couldn't wait for his book to come out. It's a fascinating book with beautiful photos and a lot of history. If you would like to purchase his book, you can visit his website, maxhumphrey.com, and he has a direct link to purchase his book. He also happens to be good friends with Emily Henderson, and it was really neat to get to see them walking around the market shopping together. Emily has also just released her living room transformation on YouTube. If you like my videos, I guarantee you you're going to love watching Emily and the transformation of her living room. So head over to her YouTube channel and tell her in the comment section that I sent you. I can't believe it's over. This is so bittersweet. It's been an amazing weekend. We're hot, we're tired. Everyone's loading up all the goodies that didn't sell, but everyone's happy with all the goodies that did. So it's just been unbelievable. Thank you to everyone who came out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you would love to join us as a vendor or a shopper for our next Left Coast Flea, we do not have the next Left Coast Flea on the calendar yet, but it is in the works. So if you have any interest in being a vendor at our next market, or you would like to come and shop the market, you can subscribe to a special newsletter that is going to be just for flea market updates. Head to my website, leftcoastrevivals.com, click on the flea market tab, and you can subscribe to that newsletter right there. I will also put the link in the description below. This newsletter will be very important if you are interested in coming out to that event because the newsletter will be the first to know and I will be sending out all details and all updates just to this email list. So make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for joining all of us here at the Rose City Vintage Market and the Left Coast Fully for this amazing weekend. We are so grateful. Our hearts are so full and we can't wait to see you at the next one.